everybody, welcome back to the She-Hulk Fan Club Podcast, the only podcast that tells the chuds that they need to shut the fuck up. She-Hulk is actually the best MCU product we've had since Thor 2. I'm Simeon Jimmy, joined as always by the Weekend Warrior. Hello chat, hello audience. Would you be surprised if I say this was the funnest episode I've watched? Oh my god, that, an uh, unironic praise of, of She-Hulk. Your whole reputation oh, the- is now ruined. <laughs> yeah, I'm in tatters, yep. man. Like, oh no, I, I yep. can't, there's no turning back from this. And we Florian all- Himsel. Yeah, we all agree that this episode is great. What could go wrong? Eggy Eggman Rodriguez. Hey, I, I caramba, this episode was fuego muy caliente. And the corner Kino. Uh, this episode sucked. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like a Beavis <laughs> impression. Sounds like a hater from Intelligentsia. Oh my god. Yeah, how could you be such a contrarian? Well, yeah, so, so how could I be such a contrarian, so for, Florian? When Kino <laughs> yeah. says that this episode sucked, let's be clear. Just because it is probably the best episode of She-Hulk does not mean it's particularly good. It's, it's just yeah, good yeah. compared to the other episodes. I think, yeah. Like, the nuanced part is Jen is still a bad character. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all going to agree that uh, the men in this episode were pretty funny and a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so my question is, before we really dive into the episode, are we just a bunch of sexist assholes that whenever a man is in this show, is like, oh, Mr. Uh, Immortal, he's so cool. We love that character. You know, any man who shows up is great. But the f- main oh, character actually- who's a woman, we all completely shit on her every time. Do we just hate women? Well, no, I I'm going to so. say I saw this episode from a female perspective. I opened my eyes, my heart, my mind, and I saw, you know, that Jen Walters... You know, she just really hurts herself because she thinks the right thing to do is to just meet up with random strange men from applications or wherever she's picking them up off the street and sleeping with them immediately because she thinks that's what is going to have her get commitment in a long term deep bonding relationship. And it's just not true. She burns herself again. And I think that looking at it from that perspective, this episode was a very cautionary tale. Ladies out there, you got to be a hashtag trad wife. You're out there, you're spending 16 hours a day in the office until you pick up some guy, some hobo off the side of the street. You think throwing that Hulk hussy back is going to lock him in for life, and all of a sudden, you're left on red. You don't know what's going on. Another year goes by, your hair's falling out, and nobody wants you. Think about it. It's a cautionary tale. Well, Eggy, I generally agree with what you're saying, but I think within the plot of what we've been shown, the man who betrays and ghosts uh, the main character was not a man from Tinder. Uh, this is a man she met at a wedding. So really, it's like the trad wife style. Like, that's how trad wives used to find their trad husbands back in the day. So I don't yeah, know if did. the whole, you know, social media thing really ties into this situation, right? She did everything she did right. She did put out on the third date. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, she. That's, oh, that's yeah. a respectable date to put out on. The the uh-huh. handsome Asian man from the wedding episode, he's back, and the episode opens with uh, just a montage of them going on dates. And She Hulk has learned her lesson from the the rich doctor guy a few episodes ago that she should not put out on the first date. You'll just get ghosted. Mm-hmm. Instead, she puts out on the third date and then gets ghosted anyway. <laughs> At that point, guys, isn't that uh, maybe the problem is me? Isn't that like some sort of wake up call already? Well, I think it's clear that men only want one thing, and that is a syringe of your blood. Oh, (laughs) of course, of course, yeah. Well, actually, I think Uh, the doctor guy, the the doctor guy went well. I mean, she she hooked up with him. That was the point of going on Tinder, and then he was still around to to testify for her in court i mean florian for fuck's sake for fuck's sake the whole point of tinder for a woman is not to get laid she's looking for like a long-term relationship we're not all you we don't want to get her fucking dick wet and then say goodbye forever but but she could use a different app for that there should be (laughs) something shouldn't there she wasn't even using tinder she was using a knockoff marvel like well yeah was that a so, necessary oh, yeah. thing so to she's gonna use another <laughs> no, she's gonna wasn't. use the knockoff Marvel uh version of what? OK Cupid or 
I mean, all all these things are run are owned by the same company, anyways. It's like you're all getting. It, it's all the same shit. Red well, pill. It, it wouldn't be the same thing. Like it's specifically a hookup app. Okay, I don't care. I it. I don't care. Weekend Warrior. Do you think women use hey, it as a hookup? Hook we don't app? care. Weekend Warrior. You said this is a good episode. I want to hear your perspective. Why did you like this one? Uh, I, I think I the the nuanced take on it is that the 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 gen part is boring. It really picks up when she get she gets to therapy land with Abomination and friends. That's that's the time where the show picks up. Yeah, Emil Blonsky is back yet again, uh, proving he is the best character in the show. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Like, the best character in the show is not the main character. <laughs> Guys, the writers have a problem. Oh my god. I mean, it's it's pretty clear that the, the writers actually like this character a lot, the way they, they wrote him. So I, I think it, it makes sense that he would turn out well. But I, yeah, but I think this this episode was entirely good. Like, the, the start of it was relatable and and she expressed a lot of emotion. Oh, right? oh no! So, and you got ghosted too. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> uh, I thought that the the direction and the editing of the opening was cool. Like we have a like a shadow yeah, clone yeah. jutsu of Jen as she like the camera <laughs> is one swift motion, but we see multiple versions of her going about her morning activities. So at the very yeah, least, they're trying to make times. it. But I haven't seen it in this show. Like at least they're trying now. Like they're trying to make it aesthetically interesting and pleasing, as opposed to just they could have done it Nothing. in the lamest, most flat way possible. Yeah. They didn't have to try that hard. I do like the Southeast Asian representation. Go, Josh. You banged that <laughs> yeah, She-Hulk, you, you, baby. You, you, have, a, a, you have a chance with Jen now. Yeah. Yeah, you want a forty-year-old for Jewish woman weekend? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ooh, give me the whole cussy. Well, let's That's get the right. alternate perspective. If we all liked it and Kino said it sucked, let's hear why it sucked. I mean, look, when I was saying it sucked, I said it because all of you were saying that you liked it. I think that as far as the show goes, it's one of the better episodes, but I still think that it sucks because I still was annoyed uh, for most of most of the episode. Uh, but I agree that it's Tim Roth and uh, a couple of the other characters are interesting, but I didn't like the setup for it. I didn't like how he know all of them through this one therapy session. I thought that that was incredibly lazy. Mm -hmm, fair enough. And yeah, I mean, a, a lot of like these group therapy sessions, especially considering the fact that this constitutes what half of the episode and then the. It, it, so it's like part one is we're gonna all on all these dates in the sort of montage with this uh, Josh guy, then you know, and then it's her going to therapy land and getting convinced to do therapy, and then the rest of it basically is one big therapy. I just don't think that we've spent enough time, She Hulk, to really justify this, and this feels like a, a shortcut to justify what to justify so much exposition about her character. Or like some sort of emotional release. Well, what's a better I don't situation for a character to express themselves than in a group therapy session where everybody's opening up about you know their but feelings that's, and but problems? That's lazy. I mean, from a writing. I mean, yeah, for you, lazy. going to therapy is lazy, but like for millions of people, it's a very common occurrence. <laughs> no, I yeah. think um, you know, is what you're saying. They accepted Jen into the group too early. Is, is oh, that what you're I, saying, even, or, or do you you that. don't like you don't therapy. like the therapy session at all uh, as a don't device? Like, I don't I don't like the therapy I don't like the therapy session trope how it's used in this way where it's just it's just there to really have and tell you her character and it's just there to have these other characters these new mm. characters also tell you their characters like, we don't see much okay. happen like it's just show and don't it's just telling and not showing. I do. And, I, I kind of agree with Kino here because, like, when Jen says she feels useless as Jen, I don't really get that impression from the show. Um, I like, do. The way she, she like gets rejected when she's in her human form, and people are only interested in her because she becomes the Hulk. Mm. Yeah, and, and her job sucks. Like, and she can't she even go to work as problem. herself. She has to go to work yeah, as to the to Hulk. She -Hulk. Okay, okay. Yeah, like nobody gives a fuck about Jen. They all want the She-Hulk. It's like uh, how nobody cares about a Peter Mahaffey. They only want to see the Kino Corner. You know, you can't relate to that? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been there. Yeah. He's yeah. the director of hit film, Wasted Hours. <laughs> oh, okay. No one cares about uh, 
redacted. They only care about Weekend Warrior. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares uh-huh. about Toby Reynolds. They want to see the Eggman. You know, I think we can all relate to this. Well, I guess I can't if I don't have an alter ego, huh? <laughs> oh, based. Oh, my God. I mean, you're Here's always in character, problem. though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we skipped the most important scene, and it's way before the therapy stuff. It's when <laughs> she's uh, she's like in her office, and she's looking at the computer and all the memes about her, and she says, "I don't care what a bunch of losers say about me online." Okay, Hell yeah. Oh. yeah, sure. Do we yeah. believe her? Well, no, I think the it- fact that she had to go to therapy right after that. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, <laughs> like I, I find it. Like they they put the effort to like pre-defend the show. Isn't it weird? Instead of like working on making the show a good show, they pre-defend it with like hater li- these caricature of haters online. Isn't that weird? Well, well it's, not it's entirely. A, it's a weird yeah, thing to say that you don't care about something because if you truly didn't care, you wouldn't even need to discuss it. Yeah, exactly. Like if well, you're going I, out of your way to say this doesn't bother me, I don't care about it. Okay, so it's clearly on your mind. Yeah. Oh, what were oh, you gonna say, there, for Ren? Well, I, I think it's probably all right to do this because, like, there was going to be, like, a certain amount of idiots who would definitely be offended just by the fact that she's a woman, okay? I, I know it's not, like, the hugest amount, but, I mean, there's definitely some people who would have definitely been like that, so... Well, I, I think I it think was safe to say to, it, it would have worked. I think more just, likely... Uh, it's that um, there's pretty much a extremely, almost statistically non-existent portion of people that would be in that category, but a much larger portion would have some criticism of the show that they'll immediately run behind, uh, that they're heckin' Chatterinos, and She-Hulk owns those trolls and owns their sad <laughs> lives, and they're jealous because she's a dank lawyer celebrity that smells good. Yeah, she even says if she <laughs> ran into one of these trolls IRL, she would hulk out and murder them. They wrote they wrote this probably one and a half to two years ago. Yeah, they so, did. Yeah. They pre anticipated so it. It's so Yeah, by a couple so of years. It's 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 not like oh they were seeing the uh they're seeing the uh uh you know the publicity it's, that it was getting and yeah. they're writing this as they're going on. No, they wrote this probably a few a couple of years ago. I mean it was it, this was yeah. like like before, I heard that in Ghostbusters 2016, they they edited in some new shots because of the reactions of people online. Oh, Here wow. they anticipated it or or even <laughs> relished it, right? So uh, why would you do that? It, it's well, weekend. I saw on Twitter you were interacting. Yeah. I guess the, the She Hulk account posted the screenshot of her saying, you know, she doesn't care what people think. Uh, yeah, the you she were interacting Hulk's with the, what, What's the story behind that? <laughs> No, because the, the, um, I'm going to like quote and give a shout out to Manga Common because it's this Stan account that keeps on, I guess it's baiting for engagement for She-Hulk, I think. Because like every time they would, like in this case, they just posted the screenshot of She-Hulk saying that line. But without the context, what what's, what's this context in the story or whatever, it's like on its own. It's like, oh, look at She-Hulk. Sh- shout out to the chuds, am I right, fellow she hulksters or whatever? But it's <laughs> it's just why would you make your character look bad? It's it's in in, in a meta way or in a, in an in story way because it's it really comes off. First of all, in story, you're supposed to be like this this calm person who's in control of her anger, but really, you really want to punch someone in your Hulk form. Okay, you're a fucking liar. Second, why are you baiting people to react? in a bad way in a show that's already not doing so well so I, I don't understand the tactic here either way if you're baiting for audience sympathy it's not gonna work or, or like the few people defending it they, they get ratioed in the comments so <laughs> I, I, I don't understand the stan account uh, I think I was a Russian bot from Donald Dump that uh, was trying to make a beautiful strong woman that's representing female struggles out here look lesser than Oh wait, I, Eggy, it's funny that you say that because the strong, independent woman needed validation from men in this episode. So, so true. <laughs> yeah, so basically, well, she she goes on the date with this Asian guy. They sleep together. She wakes up. He's not in the bed. She sends him a text. Mm-hmm. No response. She spends the next three years of her life just staring at her phone, waiting to get a text response. 
uh, and that really ties into the whole therapy session. Have you guys ever been in this situation? Did you ever go on a romantic date, you know, had a great time, and then the next day, you, you don't get any text message replies, you know, real yeah, ghosting. Yeah, we, we've all been there, right? Yeah, I mean, Jen is, uh, you know, super relatable character. I, I don't know why yeah. uh, Florian hates her so much. <laughs> yeah, Florian, what's your yeah. problem, man? Well, I haven't had this specific scenario, but yeah, I mean, you, you get ignored a lot online. It makes sense. I, I, I really felt for her, man. Not online, it's in real life. Being ignored, like yeah, uh, it, it's rough yeah, when you you, you think date. you have a connection with somebody in real life, and then they like just never message you again. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess that the part is being ghosted. Yeah. Well, he connected but, something, if you know what I'm saying, yeah. Well, yeah, and, and also, it's revealed that he never even liked her to begin with. Like, even from yeah. the wedding episode, he's just undercover. He's working with, I guess, the intelligentsia Reddit trolls to steal her blood so that they can make their own version of the Hulk. So, like, hey, all along, nobody, nobody's How ever had any that? actual romantic interest in Jen the whole show. This is, <laughs> yeah, this is, like, this is like if... Uh, it's if Kiwi style. Farms sent, you know, some some guy to go fuck Chris Chan to like get a uh, Sonic Shoe Medallion. <laughs> yeah, how unrealistic, oh am I right? Yeah. They yeah. sent Barb? <laughs> what? They sent, what? Barb. <laughs> they sent Barb to fuck Chris Chan to steal the medallion? <laughs> oh my god. That happened. Well, he, he probably didn't have sex at that point. Oh, he? Yeah. You fucking transphobe? Well, it was he back. Oh Come on, we gotta kick Florian off. <laughs> yeah, oh I can't put up with oh this this inner hatred that he has for all these transgender people. Yeah, I can't have the past. Yeah, how could you have such self hatred, them? Florian? <laughs> Bring yeah. back the teacher from Trash Rats International, so we can stay monetized. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so should we talk about the therapy thing? It's basically therapy for people with superpowers and how they need to, you know, rein in their anger and you know, really deal with uh, all their trauma and stuff. So I think Jen belongs in this group. And I agree. Uh, it's therapy for people with superpowers plus that one guy. Which one? Which one? Uh, the, the guy that like guy? Uh, the, the guy that like attacked her. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, the at the did. at the end of like episode three oh. or four, Jen got jumped by three guys who were trying to steal her blood, and now one of those guys is at the therapy session, which Jen is not okay with, and she throws him into a pile of chairs. Can I just say, is it that like a plot hole that she didn't even ask who hired him or some shit? I don't know. That's just something I would ask if I was like the She-Hulk. Wouldn't hey, it have been funny if uh, Titania was at the therapy session? You know, they could oh, really yeah, hash out their differences. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be funny. Yeah, actually, yeah. There's only two she episodes really... left, so she better fucking do something soon. <laughs> yeah, Titania, I mean, uh, like the whole copyright episode, it wasn't really, I mean, it was, the basis was there. It wasn't really all that for me, but I feel like actually in this scenario, yeah, she would have probably fit a little better but i also do want to say that it's funny uh that she goes into therapy and is going through this because uh, they could have totally chosen to ignore the fact that she has to say something about like attacking men every single episode but <laughs> i think we did explore now <clears throat> that the reason why she has this animosity and wants to physically harm men is because uh they're not even chad she's trying to find a nice millionaire off uh tinder to you know she's ready to settle down and uh, have a couple nice dogs or whatever and they just keep on leaving her on red so she's coping and seething and molding, and we're getting to the uh, we're getting to the core of it, and I think that's a positive character development. Yeah, finally a fem cell represented on screen. Yeah, thank yeah. God. Yeah, I thought you guys should find it based that she's having to to get validation from these men, right? It's pretty yeah. good. It's just it's just ironic. Well, do we agree with the lesson that the therapy group teaches her, which is that if you went on a date with this man and he has not texted you back in three days, you should just delete his contact information completely and pretend he never existed? No. Like, for all she knows, he was in a fucking car wreck and he's in a coma in the hospital. She has no information, but she goes through with this and deletes him from her phone. I think the more healthier oh, option would be just to not just just be chill with it. Or fucking call him! Yeah. Why are we doing a or text call. message, you pussy? Just fucking call him and see if he picks up! <laughs> yeah, that's, or just that's like, also... Or just say like, okay, you know what? I have a life, I have work, I have all of these things to take care of, and uh, yeah, maybe he got held up, maybe something something is up, and I'm just gonna give him a week. So, uh, and 
And if I he doesn't get with back my to me, life. if he doesn't get back to me, I'll just you know date. I'll just go on a date with somebody else. Maybe like, he's binge uh, watching his cousin Weekend Warriors YouTube videos. You don't know. It could be anything. Based Bro. Josh. Based cousin Josh. Yeah. Yes. Salamat <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Based on what we have seen now, she helps. She likes to always wear the same clothes. She has no close personal friends. Uh, she's used in relationships. Has difficulty connecting to people. Does She Hulk have autism? Yes. Yeah, she's pretty I, neurotic, well, so it might be a result yeah, of that. Yeah, she's neurotic, yeah. She's very well, neurotic. Yeah, I don't know about autism, but I wouldn't be surprised if she had a Discord. No. <laughs> you don't think that She-Hulk would wear a t-shirt that says autism is my superpower? Yeah. Or please be patient hat. The please be patient hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, can we Photoshop onto She-Hulk's head? Oh, that, that should I, be the fucking thumbnail, my yeah, guy. Please be patient, I have autism. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I think that I think she would get off or get on a lot better if she wore cat ears. But that's just my <laughs> cat girl. She Hulk. Yeah. Uh, aren't you going to make Asperger the thumbnail because he got ghosted? I mean, I think that's the uh, that's the reference in the title. But I don't know if he needs to be in the thumbnail. Kind of an old reference. <laughs> well, I have a yeah. deep cut, you might say. Asperger would never ghost She Hulk. He'd say loyal. Well, <laughs> well, he did break up with one girlfriend. <laughs> well, uh, he broke something of hers. <laughs> but I think She Hulk would fight back. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, She Hulk wait, wouldn't so, have to worry about that. <laughs> so, when, when Base Josh got the blood from She Hulk, she, it didn't leave a mark, right? The, inject, the injected blood. Evidently not. <laughs> I guess she yeah, healed like in her it, sleep. It, like, she healed herself. Yeah, so that just brings... Yeah, her powers just work wh whatever the writers needed to happen. Yeah, I think that's that's the rule of the show. Well, like, whatever... Like, you would think it would leave a mark because she's in human form, right? Or some shit. Or she would even feel it. I mean, you could probably use a really thin needle and it wouldn't leave a mark. No. Or maybe it's like a mosquito bite. Oh, I'm pretty sure that but Asian the, man the, used his thin needle on her all night. Oh, 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 that's a deep cut. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the Filipino card and say that's offensive. Oh my no, god! I did write in my Not notes that, that she receives the BYC. If anybody can guess what that acronym means, um, bigoted, useful, <laughs> uh, big, big yellow cock. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I'm, I'm just gonna comment that the. The, the needle that was shown in the preview is a bigger needle than the one they used yeah. in the ambush. It's ginormous. So, yeah, it's ginormous, which doesn't change <laughs> the fact that it's just... Uh, so I think the rules are... I, th I said this also in my video, I'm gonna show it again. Because YouTube fucking uh, made ads limited on that shit. Like, Damn. My conclusion was that the rules are whatever the writers needed to happen. Or for a joke, they'll, they'll do something fun with it. Like, like when you know, you know it would have been yeah. a lot easier. You know it would have been a lot easier for Josh mm -hmm. just to date her until she's like and yeah, tries to have sex with her and then he's and then she's like, Yeah, I'm on my period and he goes and like steals her Oof. tampons and brings them <laughs> to the uh No, she, he's gonna say, Oh, oh baby, that's my fetish. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah, is that a yeah, plot baby. hole that her blood is like radioactive and so all of her periods are like if you touch her period blood you're gonna become a Hulk? You know, or maybe, you die. She might need to like, get on medication. Blood. Oh yeah, period blood good. gets in your blood. Yeah, that's. Oh, not... Do you think the lawyer boss is the final boss? Is there a chance that would happen? I'm it's, trying to figure like, out because there's only two episodes no left, and we have there's yeah. so many little plot strings that will probably remain unanswered. Like the Hulk is off in space looking for something. I don't think he's going to show up again in the last two. Daredevil is supposed to be in the show. Don't know when or where or why. Is Titiana the final boss? Are the uh, intelligentsia people the final boss? What the fuck's going to happen? Like there's too many things gonna... going on. Yeah, my I think, guess. I, th I think okay. that what they're going to do is Tania is like pissed off because She-Hulk destroyed her veneers right, and made her embarrassed at a party. And I feel like she's going to team up with the uh, intelligence you know, with the uh, whatever the, that Merck sort of intelligence company is. And they're going to. Uh, you and cut she's going to like Hulk, you know, oh. They're going to put, After like, the Hulk, Gene, and Titania. 
Mm -hmm. they're going to team up with Titania or Titania is going to team up with that intelligence agency. They're going to put the Hulk gene in her to fight She-Hulk. That's going to be like the last episode, you know. Big, or is she running the, the Reddit forum herself? Like is Titania at the top of all yeah. of this? Yeah. Might one be. other thing that might be like, I, that's one of, that's my like first guess. My second guess is like in the, in the earlier episode, I think in the second episode, the, the boss was talking to Jen about something and she, she went um, agnostic. And then he said, oh, that's an interesting answer. Ho, ho. <laughs> so maybe they'll reveal that thing as a tie into in- Intelligentia. I don't know. That that might be a thing also. I also but agree I'm, that I'm... Uh, Titania will receive the She-Hulk power. But my question is, mm-hmm. why? She already has super strength. Like, we know this from episode one. Isn't it redundant I... to get the same power again? <laughs> And even and, though she has super strength, she still gets her ass beaten by She Hulk. <laughs> yeah, so what, she's she just gonna have, have super defense. super strength. Like they're just gonna super it up a little bit. Yeah, I mean yeah, that's probably yeah. the best thing you can have. I mean she could probably crush Thanos with her fingers. I don't know about I mean, that. Well, just scales exponentially. It's surely the best thing you could have. <laughs> yeah, and then she's gonna have a pep talk, and it'll be fine. And she beats Titania and Josh. Yeah, something like that. They're going to have some DNA 3D model like floating around and then there's going to be like some balding old man. We isolated the gene and then it's going to like show like the model like it's going to pull that part out and then it's going to like triple and then Titania is going to zoom on her face and like, ha yes, finally my revenge. Then it cuts to like an IV transfusion scene where she's like accepting it's like Mor- Morbius, you know, he's like accepting it and it like kills him. But then he like comes back. It's going to be uh, Shorbius. Uh, she Hulk, uh, and then she's gonna be like, Oh, yes, I feel it. Uh, dun, dun, dun. could it be that Titania does not have the emotional stability of Jen? And when she gets this stuff, she thinks she'll be like She Hulk, but really, she just becomes a normal Hulk, like just an uncontrollable rage monster. So, She Hulk is the only one who can stop her. Yeah, I, I have to stop you on that. Uh, did you just say that Jen was emotionally stable? Well, that's the explanation they give in episode one for why she can control it. We're, we're, we're just using the show. We're just using the show, man. Yeah, I'm just using the logic of the show. The oh, quote-unquote logic. Yeah. Maybe Titania, you know, she seems a little bit, you know, crazy. So maybe when she gets this shit, she's going to hulk out and just go nuts. Yeah, you okay, know, I'm just going to... I, I think I'm gonna remind the audience fire. of Flora, Flora. I'm just gonna cut you off. Yeah. Just, just a quick bit. Uh, just feel in free. To what Marky yep. said. Uh, just the emotionally uns- the, the emotionally stable person presented as Jen is the first person that punched Hulk in the first episode. So that's right. that's, that, that's funny. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> the, oh, so so that was just a, a connecting point, Florian. Mm-hmm. So go ahead, man. Look, I, I think it's unfair that everyone says that she's unstable. Come on, she she had good reason to beat up that guy, okay, in this episode. Like, what, what are you still talking unst- about? No, not in this episode, man. Like, in general, we I think. I think I, I can also think that the, the most of the panel agrees with me. That she's not really as stable as the show would like you to s- depict. Or the show wants you to think she is. I mean, she never like, uses her superpowers in a bad way. Like, she never hulks out. So that must be pretty good, you know? Probably yeah. takes a lot of effort. Yeah, she hasn't actually hurt anybody. Uh, Kino posts the gif of her uh, <laughs> shaking her, twerking her ass. Uh, what, are you, like, masturbating during the podcast, Kino? What's going on? <laughs> hey, uh, the, no, I wanted to bring this up. Who did uh, their fucking Megan reaction Beast. emoji of the laughing crying? <laughs> Was that you, <laughs> Weekend? Uh, we can, we oh, my God, work. who did that shit? Oh, and now my there's God. black hands wow. clapping. <laughs> 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 That's right. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. Okay, man. Digital black. When face. is when is Megan the Stallion coming up? I was just looking through She Hulk gifts because I was looking for the one where it makes it look like she's farting on a uh, Hulk. Uh, uh, is that the prediction <laughs> we should the- make? Will Megan the Stallion appear again in the final two episodes? And oh, the, the Magnum twerk. The final scene in the final episode is just everybody twerking. It better be. Uh, I would not be shocked if twerking was involved in defeating the final boss. That's right. Well, if it's They'll Titania, somehow tie then it in. that wouldn't make sense. Titania probably twerks more than She-Hulk. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy literally ended with a dance-off. Why can't She-Hulk and Titania have a twerk-off to see who wins the day? 
Exactly. The twerk's hardest? Oh, God. Yeah, the All audience, right. whoever enjoys the twerking the most in the audience, you know, that's who wins. <laughs> Now, speaking of twerking for a living, I am heading off to work. My final rating on this episode was that it was marginally above average, and I still would not recommend ever sitting through any of this series, and no. I can't wait until next week's episode. Yeah, it's only Peace. good if you've had to suffer through the other six episodes. Yes, only if you have that Stockholm Syndrome or vested right. interest or uh, whatever you call it. But with that being said, time to go punch my clock. Oh, peace. See ya, Iggy. Bye, man. Have a good one, man. Now, just to be clear, the oh, reason yeah, why we it. thought that this was halfway decent <laughs> is just because it's funny. Like at the therapy session, all the male characters are constantly cracking, you know, good jokes. And Emil Blonsky, uh, the, I feel like they got a different writer for all of his dialogue because he feels like a yeah. just like a different type of character than I would expect from this show. Do you think he put in his own like script, like he made some edits, like? and suggestions to the director and the writers. Well, so I watched the show with closed captioning on, so I don't miss a thing. And very interestingly, a lot of the time when other people are talking, their dialogue does not match the closed captioning. Like, I think they just copy and pasted the script because, like, the lines are different. They'll change a couple words here or there. But for Emil Blonsky, he stays on script. Like, uh, every single word is exactly the same. So I don't know. He's like the only well, one in the whole show who does not change the lines as written at all. Well, well, maybe that means that he's changed all the lines that were written and they had to manually Bad. change it for him. <laughs> it could be. How lazy are these motherfuckers? Kino, you know more about this shit. Why does the closed captioning not match what people are saying? Uh, as somebody, you know, as one of you guys were, were point, was pointing out just a second ago, it's probably because they just copy and pasted what was in the script and they didn't do what they should have done, which is have some, you know, uh, intern that they paid $7.50 an hour or whatever minimum wage is to go through and just uh, watch the show on slow, slow-mo and get every single line of dialogue into an SRT file. That's what they should have done. Yeah, you know, it's, have every few, episode uh, is 20 Koreans minutes. It wouldn't take like that, that long. But, uh, no, it's only 20 minutes. Like it should not to take that long. And it's and it's and it's monkey work. You know, it's like you could literally put a chimpanzee at a computer and he could do it. Yeah. So, uh, do we have any final thoughts on this great ghosting episode of She Hulk? Well, I like that Josh uses emojis to impre- express himself. I think he's really the hero that this audience deserves. Okay, I, I like, I like that he explains that he's stolen her blood purely by emojis. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, that's very true. clever. That was really well done of him. You know, real relatable. Do you think he'll brag it in her face? Oh, I got your picture, Jen. Oh, I'm going to oh, yeah. steal the good <laughs> That Jen. was weird. Yeah. He steals her blood, but then she, while she's sleeping, he takes a photo of her. What was that for? Just his spank Not thing? only did he take a photo, man. It was a flash, and, and Jen did not wake <laughs> up. Like, that, Yeah, oh, he's playing a friend. very risky game. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, took, he took a photo of her and used emojis to tell his boss that yeah i stole her blood instead of <laughs> and also i don't think he's using an app that's and the end end to end encrypted that didn't yeah, look like also, signal to me he, he did he copy the phone like he, there was he something did. oh yeah yeah he copied yeah, okay, she hulk's okay. phone so does that mean when she gets like a new text message will he also get to see it or yeah, he's he just bragging wants to see all the, he, he just wants to see all the nudes that she's like sending out you know are the news that she's yeah. receiving from men yeah oh maybe yeah. he's actually probably gay. more important <laughs> probably more important to or him. at least buy can you actually copy a phone and then get the messages damn that sucks i thought copy he was a just phone like the that data. copying a phone like that where he just puts the phone on top of the other phone i'm not <laughs> like a cyber expert but something tells me that there's probably uh know uh stuff built into the phones to stop that from happening you know i'll just just say this is a world where tony stark used the computer to invent time travel so i'm not going to be too upset (laughs) about a magical phone copying (laughs) technology yeah it's unrealistic (laughs) yeah uh i don't know if i have anything else to say unless you guys do okay Mm. guys the show the episode is better but it's not the nuance take is what i will just summarize oh it's worse it's worse it's the worst episode of the series by far (laughs) okay uh 
Let, let, okay, why? Let's ignore the contrarian for okay. <laughs> I, let's I know why. I'm not, being a contrarian. I'm not being a contrarian about this. It's the worst episode. Because people like us are going to tell people, actually, this episode is more entertaining than the other episodes, which it is. Then people think, huh, maybe oh, She-Hulk. She-Hulk is worth is worth a watch. No. So to get to this one oh. mildly entertaining episode, they have to watch six, seven episodes before. It's like, this is, it's like, okay, so you got to something that was somewhat entertaining, but after... Uh, let me see. E- e- with each one being half an hour long, 20 minutes, really, they're each about 20 minutes. It's two hours of shit before you get to something that's like absolutely entertaining. entertaining. Well, I'm willing yeah. to say, so, uh, well, two things. One, nobody should watch this show under any circumstance. Just listen to us talk about it. But two, yeah. I think the episode is enough of a bottle standalone episode that you could just skip straight to it and you wouldn't really miss anything. It's yeah, really you, all you explained could, in the episode. You could cut the Josh part reveal that he's a villain, and it would still work. Uh, I, oh, I mean, like we always like to point out when she talks to the camera, and there's an especially meta moment in this one where she says, uh, "Was that guy shown in the previously on?" <laughs> well, uh, here's a new previously on. So then we get like another recap. That yeah. joke was actually too long. If I it was yeah. if if I was them, I was like, "Was she, was he on the show?" And then I would just cut it to previously on. Yeah. Like, that that. I guess. It's like, oh, look at me lampshading it. Isn't it funny, guys? The meta humor. Like, well, she she always does them too long. Like, if they were shorter, they would always be funny, and that is true. No, it's weird because when she bounces off the other guy, she's funny. Like when the matador guy made the joke, I'm not a mechanic bull, and he he tried to laugh, and they were like, oh, bro, that was not a good joke. (laughs) And Jen was like, yeah, and that was actually a good delivery from Tatiana. I was like. What are you doing with this actress, you writers? What, are, what the fuck is <laughs> happening here? Wow. You're wasting her. Oh my god. It's, it's frustrating. <laughs> simping for her. No, it's like, no, I'm not simping, man. It's like, she could actually do a good scene. A good comedic scene. It's just that for, for the most part, she's nothing. They give her bad material, oh. mostly. Yeah, yeah, she's a bad lawyer and a worse superhero so far. Oh, oh the, the non-superhero person. Yeah, so, uh, it, <laughs> well, what I the th- fuck is happening? I, I think she's responsible herself if she's this big part of a show, then she could write her own script a little better. Come on. Fair I, enough. I'm sure <laughs> she'll get creative she control could- for season two. <laughs> wow. Season two? You think this is gonna get a season two, mumps? I know she's I mean, confirmed to be in well. the next Avengers movie, so they'll probably okay. want to continue. Oh yeah, that. yeah. That's gonna be peak She-Hulk, guys. The actually good 3D rendered She-Hulk. Yeah, that's gonna be peak. Well, that's gonna <laughs> actually, be literally amazing. I, I don't know. A- actually, hot She-Hulk. Yeah, that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I hope that the properly rendered She-Hulk does more twerking in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then Kino will be sharing that gif unironically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I said that's a, uh, thanks for sharing that gif weekend in the chat. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Florian, say your final point so we can leave. Well, I think Kino just hates fun. Okay, this was a great episode, and it's no pleasing. Oh wow, the, the the rest of the show wasn't as good as this episode, so this episode isn't allowed to be good. Wow, it's really too bad, isn't it, Kino? Jeez, uh, it's not allowed to be good. I'm sorry. This episode sorry legitimately it. It made me thing. laugh more than the turkey episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it was just good without being funny, but sure. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. We mostly agree it's the best one, but still not, you know, above like a 5 out of 10, really. Uh, is that it? Should we come back next week? Yeah. No, we have well, to finish uh, finish yeah. the fight. We gotta finish. The fight? Wait, who's fighting? Yeah, this is a fight, I, I, man. It's a struggle uh, to watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I fight. That's a, I thought you said uh, me and Kino should continue fighting. That's the fight of oh, us no, against no. the show. <laughs> yeah, it's us against the show. Yeah, it's us against the show. <laughs> I don't know a con- I don't know of a concept uh, called sunk costs, so I'm gonna finish the, uh, <laughs> the whole show. <laughs> well, I oh, think just... it really paid off. You know, it keeps getting better. I'm sure it'll be really good. <laughs> All right. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, unironically, I do hope so too. I hope it does get better. Uh, me too. Yeah. I hope yeah, for, that, our, for uh, our sakes. The episodes are great. Okay, who wants to plug something? Weekend, you got something coming out soon? 
Oh, I'm still working on a video that is very hard to make because it's grindy as fuck. I hate that game. So <laughs> I'm gonna please watch the She Hook video, guys, because it's been limited ads for some fucking reason. And I'm gonna make a follow up on that when the show is finally over. So yeah, your video. I was wrong about She Hook. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> She Hulk is actually Kino. <laughs> yeah, Kino, you've been promising uh, you've been promising new uh, videos a for a month. Where are they? Um, the new video coming out Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and about then... She Hulk. No, it's a new kind of video, so I'm gonna see how that does. And then, uh, like end of next week, I'll be coming out with my review of uh, My Son Hunter for diving into just spooky movies so i was just uh starting writing my donnie darko video last night um so hopefully that'll be out where's the david weeks. bowie video that's what i'm waiting for david david bowie video is going to be beginning of november okay. now because it's october i'm trying to do like halloween or like horror you so. don't think his character in labyrinth was horrific <laughs> it is but this is more of like a piece on like a bunch of movies it's also just like this video that I'm coming out with in a couple days uh, covers like a lot of movies and it can get kind of uh, uh, exhausting um, just having to watch like a video that co- that ha- is so like general and has a wide breadth. And Florian, what do you have what, coming out? Yeah. Well, I've been pretty lazy, but I got to get back to editing videos. And when I do, you can see them on my channel, Himsel Games, everybody. Okay, for the She-Hulk fan club, I've been She-Hulk. Bye, everybody. I'm well, bye. Josh, I guess. Bye. <laughs> I think Weekend Warrior would be Josh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, oh, yeah. oops. <laughs> Woo! Filipino well, I... representation, smashing the Hulk pussy. Woo! <laughs> well, I guess Kino is the cult leader, so I guess I'm the raging bull. Hmm, maybe. Sure. I'm uh, Emil Blonsky. <laughs> Perfect. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.